high in my teeth. Oh, I got less thick. here welcome back to my channel so the reason I am all bare faced and yucky right now is because I'm going to be doing a transformation for you guys so summer is officially over and we are now heading into Halloween so I figured I would do a Halloween makeup tutorial for you so I'm gonna be transforming into a redneck hillbilly woman so before we go ahead and jump into the transformation please go ahead hit that subscribe button for me I'm almost at 1,000 subscribers um, so please help me try and reach my goal. I would really appreciate it. Okay, so let's jump right into the video If you're interested in seeing me transform into a redneck, please keep watching Okay, so first thing I need to get my hair out of my face and part of the look is I'm going to be putting my hair up in rollers So I just went to my local dollar store and picked up a few of those velcro rollers I got two different colors just because I don't really want the look to be all matchy-matchy Okay, so the rollers are all in. Now, it doesn't matter if there's any kind of loose stray hairs or if any are kind of dangling because the look is just meant to kind of be sloppy anyways. So next up is the outfit and I'm gonna be wearing what we like to call in Canada, the Canadian tuxedo, which is basically denim on denim. And next, I'm just going to throw in some really big hoop earrings. Now for the next part of the costume, it's totally optional. I chose to add a set of fake nails and I just painted them red because I think red's kind of really flashy and bold. Um, now whether you have a long or short nails, it's totally up to you whether you want to add these or not. You can just paint them any color you choose and the paint job itself doesn't even need to be neat or tidy either. Now if you are interested in putting on the fake nails, I will put a link down below where you can watch a tutorial on how I apply these. Now onto the actual makeup look itself. Self. Now the look I'm going for, how do I explain this? Um, do you remember Mimi from the Drew Carey show? Yeah, so she's known for that really bold blue eyeshadow. So imagine her going on one of those like 80s styles glamour photo shoots. That's the look I'm going for. Now I already do have my base and foundation on, um, so you can use any kind of foundation you have uh, laying around. I used my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I just find this is one of the best drugstore foundations out there. So first I'm going to go in and do my eyebrows. So I want to create a really thin, kind of high arched eyebrow. I'm going to be going in and using my Cabrow uh, Eyebrow Pomade from Benefit Cosmetics. So next I'm going to be doing eyeshadow and I'm going to be doing a, a nice bright blue on the eyelid. I'm going to be covering the majority of the eyelid. Now this makeup look does not have to be perfect so you don't have to worry about um, blending and perfect shading and all that because it's not meant to be very glamorous like in a good way. So basically just find any kind of bright blue eyeshadow. I'm going to be going in with the BH Cosmetics Eyes on the 70s palette. And I'm going to be using this blue shade right here. I'm also going to be taking that same blue eyeshadow and just putting it under the lower lash line. So 
So next you're gonna wanna go ahead and create a winged eyeliner look. Now, if you're not good at this, don't worry because it's not meant to be perfect. Uh, so you're just gonna go along the top of the lid and create that wing and then just bring it down into the waterline. So I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Sketch Marker Liquid Eyeliner. So we're just going to go in and apply some bright colored blush to the apples of our cheeks. Now I'm just skipping the whole contouring and bronzing thing because I don't think rednecks really know how to do that. So just pick any kind of bright colored blush. I'm going to be going in with this fuchsia kind of pink shade and it's by MAC Cosmetics and it is in the shade Dolly Mix. Now don't be afraid to be too heavy on the blush because we want this look to be kind of really bold and out there. So next I'm going to go in and do my lips. I'm going to be doing them a red color just to match my nails. Now you can choose any color you want. Um, I would definitely pick something really bright and bold and out there that would kind of clash and contrast with the makeup. So maybe like a bright fuchsia or a orange. Also the lipstick does not have to be perfect. You can over draw, make the lips bigger, make them really messy. So I'm going to be going in with the BH Cosmetics Pop Art Lipstick in the shade Slam. kind of look like a crazy 1950s housewife right now. Now onto the best and most important part of this look, it's going to be the red neck tee. So I got these sent to me by Billy Bob Teeth, so shout out to them for sending me these so I can create this really fun look for you guys. Okay guys, that was the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. It was all meant to be in good fun, so I hope no one took offense to it at all. It's Halloween, right? Uh, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share it on social media. Comment down below any names that this lady should have. Be sure to follow me on social media to see all of my prettier beauty and fashion looks. All those links will be down below for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. This single girl is hitting the town. I'm gonna find me my Jethro.